Parker Marr may play piano like other teenagers, but he's not a typical 18-year-old. When he was a baby, he started having seizures at eight months. Mm -hmm. And so that was a challenge. And then at two, we got the diagnosis, diagnosis of developmentally delayed. Mm -hmm. And two and a half, we got the autism diagnosis. Parker's parents, Celeste and Henry, not only found themselves learning how to raise their first child, but one with a disability. It was the hardest thing I've ever done. <laughs> but also the most wonderful and sometimes challenging things bring you closer together. One of the things that has helped the Mars along the way in this journey has been the Tammy Lynn Center and their respite care program. So what Tammy Lynn Center does is we provide that trained staff to go into that home so that family member, that family unit, whatever that looks like, they can go out, they can get their lives done, do what they need to do, and they know that they have a trained support staff with their loved one. Holly Richard heads the Tammy Lynn Center today that serves children and adults of any age who have developmental or intellectual disabilities. He needs somebody to keep an eye on him at all times because he could uh, have a seizure and hurt himself. We have uh, respite care come on Wednesday after school to help watch him, and every other Sunday we have someone who comes, and Parker loves them. That's the best part. Jennifer comes Wednesdays and Miss World comes Wednesdays and Miss Brittany comes Saturday. For the Mars and many families like them, getting a break from nonstop care of a child their entire life can make a big difference. I think it really helps your state of mind because you come back rested and you got to do something you wanted to do that's fun and then you can be a better parent when you come back. The fact that he looks forward to it as much as we do, that really that makes it easy to, for us to get out and have fun. While the Tammy Lynn Center has come a long way since being founded in the basement of Green Forest Baptist Church in Cary in 1969, the more than 400 families they serve today are very thankful. Now we have this awesome teenager who's sweet and kind and he's like a four or five year old. He loves Mickey Mouse. And how many parents <laughs> of teenagers can say that?